I'm back with a new video for you guys, which is really exciting because as you know, I haven't been filming a lot, but that's besides the point because I just filmed right now and I'm really excited about this video because it's going to be kind of a fall makeup tutorial because it's pretty much fall. I mean, it's not really summer anymore because everyone's back in school. So once you go back to school, it's not really summer, you know, so it's fall. Um, I love fall because fall is fun. It's great. So yeah. Um, anyways, I'm showing you guys this look right here. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I really like this look. The other night I was kind of just messing around with my palette that I haven't really shown you guys yet that I got. But it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So this is the palette that I use for all my eyeshadows. And it smells like chocolate and I'm a fatty. So, that's why I like the palette. And I guess the eyeshadows are okay too. But... Um, enough rambling. Let's get into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe because that'd be great. Become far, part of the Beva fam. That's always a good thing. So hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Okay, so there's nothing really new I'm doing for the face part of this video. Just doing some concealer. And, you know, the whole nine yards with that. Um, whatever you feel comfortable with wearing, that's what you should be wearing. I'm not telling you you need to wear all of this or maybe this is a little bit for you and you want to go more. So that's just the face makeup. I'm just showing you guys that as a part of the look. That's just what I'm doing. Some BB cream because I don't really like foundation. And I'm going to set that with this yellow powder. I don't even know where this is from. Like the label and everything is wearered off, is worn off. So it's really old, but it's just a yellow brightening powder. I like to put that in my eyes to make it brighter. And then I'm taking this um, powder and mattifying my face. I have oily skin, so this is a necessary step for me, but I'm just doing that. And after that's done, my favorite part, I'm moving on to the brows. I sped this part up, cut a lot of part of it out because this took me like 10 minutes. And you know, that is way too long. So, I sped these parts up. Um, that's pretty much what I do. I didn't go too in depth with this, and I'm not going to really explain it, but I just fill it in, make them look better, because, you know, that's good. <laughs> I've been obsessed with using bronzer lately. I'm not sure why. I think it just makes everything look better. So, I'm using this one it's not too orange I think it's perfect for my skin tone so I'm doing that um, and it was a little harsh so I blended it out afterwards but now moving on to the eyes I'm taking a primer kind of cream base thing just so nothing slides around and I'm putting that all over my eyes and then I'm going to start with the eyeshadow so I'm using the Too Faced chocolate bar palette like I said in the intro and I'm going to be taking that shade this is like an orangey shade and I'm using that as a transition color in my crease this is very important to use a transition color so I'm blending that in making it look pretty natural but you know this is a necessary step so make sure you do that I'm taking that shade right there it's kind of a champagne color I'm putting that in the inner third so I'm doing that on both sides obviously this is a symmetrical look um, and I'm taking that golden shade and I'm putting that in the center of my lids I have no idea what I was doing with this I was like you know what I'm gonna go for it so I'm doing that again both sides and then I'm taking that darker brown shade it's shimmery and I'm putting that on the outer third so it's it looks weird right now it looks like a Napoleon ice cream I think that's what it's called right like chocolate vanilla I don't know and then I'm taking that first shade that I used the champagne color and using that to blend everything out and taking that matte color just to define the outer V you know putting that in the outer V part it's matte and I'm using that and I'm also gonna drag that on my lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit and kind of continue the look I think it looks weird if you don't do that step so I'm doing that curling my eyelashes you know gotta do that and then I'm going to just take a mascara and put that on my upper and lower lashes. I decided not to use, what do you call it, eyeliner because I just, I don't know, I really like the way it was kind of like, not okay, this isn't natural, but you know, it's more natural than having a black line on your face. So I'm doing that and after that I'm going to take a lipstick, put that on my lips and that's pretty much the end of this look. It's super simple and yeah. 
so that was the end of this video um i've been requested to do more makeup videos and a lot of people were like ava your youtube name is literally beauty by ava and you don't do that many beauty videos so i'm coming at you guys with a beauty video satisfy your needs whatever um i hope you guys enjoyed this look i had a lot of fun creating this video and i put a lot of work into it which is always a good thing so make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe go subscribe subscribe to my social media go follow my social media because then we can be best friends even though we basically already are but you know do that watch my two okay you know what i can't talk so we're just gonna end this video right here i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye